Okay. Uh, so for this problem, they gave us a little prompt. They said, hey, work on factoring out um, your problem. So what I want to do to start with this off is look at my two terms and see what can I factor out, what do they share? And obviously you guys can see that both of these terms share a sine squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a sine squared, just like you know we factor out any other easier expression. So when I factor out a sine squared of x, what I'm left with is cosecant squared of x minus 1. By 1. Because remember, if I was going to multiply this back, mm -hmm. sine squared times cosecant squared would be sine squared cosecant squared. Mm -hmm. Sine squared of x times negative 1 would give me oh. negative sine squared. Right. Make sense? Right? Yeah. Um, so now, and, it's, and like I said, it's kind of the same thing as so this. So it's basically the same factoring rules apply to... If I was going to say factor this out, it would look like this, right? That's one. Yeah. yeah, exact same type of thing. It's just now we're dealing with something that looks a lot more complicated, but really the rules are just the same. Okay. Now we need to use our trig identities, which we've been practicing. What is our trig identity for cosecant squared of x minus 1? And when we look at our trig identity, we know that that's going to be... Cotangent? Right? If I put that one to the other side, I'm going to get cotangent yeah. of x. Now, I did simplify this, but can I go any further with the simplifying? Well, I need to say, well, um, you know, what is cotangent squared? And if I look at my trig identities, I can rewrite that as cotangent squared over, or I'm sorry, cosine squared over sine squared, right? Now, Brian asked me earlier, so like, you know, where, what do you know what exactly you want your point to be, right? We're trying to simplify this. Obviously, guys, if you look at, after I factor this out, right, then I transfer those. This is a simplified version. But what we want to do when we're simplifying is we want to see how, how simplified can you get to the problem, right? How much farther can you go down? So I don't want to stop here. I can keep on working this. So when I change this to cosine over sine, now, those cancel out, and what I'm simply left with is cosine squared of x. Make sense? Yeah. Got it? So I'm just trying to make this as simplified down as possible. 